Hey everyone, today we are going to discover how we can play audio in Flutter. So let's get started. First of all, let's add audio dependency. We are going to use Just Audio Library to play audio. So the first thing I do is add the Just Audio Library in PubSpec. In the next step, we need to change our class from stateless to stateful. Then we need to define an instance of audio player. In order to display the elapsed time of the audio in real time, here we create a function called format duration that takes the duration and puts together the minutes and seconds of the elapsed time and returns a string so that we can display it. In the next step, in order to be able to play or pause the audio by clicking on the button, we are going to create a function called handle play pause. Inside this function, we check it was playing and when click on the button, the audio will be paused and if it was unpaused, the audio will be played. The next function that I want to create is to be able to handle sick audio. So I define a function that takes the value that we want to sick, then we pass the value to the duration using the sick method so that it jumps to given position. Now, in the next step, we have to do something in the init state. The first thing we need to do is to set the audio URL. We can do this using the set audio URL method. If we want to play the audio from the internet, we must use this method. And if we want to play locally from inside the project and from the assets, we must use the set assets method and set the file path. Now I want to implement this slider. In order to be able to update the value of this slider when the audio is played and move forward, we must be able to listen the position of the audio in real time. To do this, we can use the position string method to listen the position value in real time. Now, first I define a duration variable called position with the default value of 0, and then by using set state, I update its value with the last value of position. The next step is to be able to show the duration of the audio. I'm in this section under this slider where we show the total duration of audio. In just audio, we have a function exactly like position stream called duration stream. So we can use this function. The first thing I do is define a duration variable and then by using set state, I update its value with the value of audio duration. Okay, great. Now let's move on creating widgets. First, we have to show the elapsed time. So we use the text widget, then we use the format duration method and pass the position to it. The next widget is the slider. We can use the slider widget to implement it. In this widget, we need to set four parameters. The first parameter is min, which takes the audio start seconds, which we have to set zero. The next widget is max, which we have to set the duration of the audio, that we can use the duration variable and set the max value based on seconds. The next parameter is value. This value should be equal to elapsed time and it shows the current value of the slider. And as you understood, to access the elapsed time, we must use the position variable. And finally, to handle sick, we only need to pass the handle sick method to unchanged. And now we have to show the duration of the audio at the bottom of the slider. For this, it is enough to use the text and pass the duration variable to format duration. That's it. And in the last step, we use the icon button for the play and pause. And check that if it is playing, we will show the pause icon, otherwise we will show the play icon. Now, I want to test. As you can see, the audio is playing and I pause and play it again. I also seek the audio and the slider works correctly and there is no problem. But here we have a small problem and the problem is that when the audio is played and ends, the values are not reset and the slider does not return to the beginning. In order to be able to reset the values, we must be able to listen to the state player and reset the values when it is complete. In order to be able to listen to a state audio, we can use the player state stream method. So I use this method in the init state and then check that if the state is equal to completed, I change the position value to zero. And then I pause the player and set it to the new position value, which is zero. So the audio returns to the beginning. Now, if I test and the full audio is played and ends, it must be reset and go back to the beginning. As you can see, there is no problem and our audio player is working well. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.